Good morning, Shavua Tov, Agotavach, Agotan Erev Yamtif. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's daily review of Maimonides Sefer HaMitzvot, the listing of 613 mitzvahs for Sunday, September 19th. We have a few mitzvahs here in the list uh, that involve uh, prohibitions. We are at the section of uh, negative commandments, the prohibitions, 365 of them. Uh, so we, the uh, next few deal with uh, prophecy, with the uh, prohibitions of prophecy. First one says that we are forbidden to prophecy in the name of an idol. Uh, a person is forbidden to uh, say a prophecy in the name of an idol, uh, some kind of uh, false uh, god or anything like that. Baal and Asherah were some of those ones uh, that uh, people used in uh, times gone by. I'm sure there are different ones today. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, but we are forbidden for, from, uh, giving, uh, from stating prophecies uh, in their name. Uh, com- tr- compare and contrast that with the next uh, mitzvah, the next negative commandment. Uh, prohibition, we are pro- forbidden to prophecy falsely, to say in God's name, uh, a prophecy which, uh, which Hashem has not spoken to us or has spoken to someone other than, uh, than uh, one, oneself. You heard it from another uh, prophet uh, who maybe God did speak to, but you can't uh, say it over yourself in your own name. So uh, we can't, not only can we not uh, uh, prophecy in the name of other gods, we can't even prophecy in the name of the one true God. Uh, if it's uh, haven't, hasn't been delivered to us directly, uh, and our understanding is that save the naming of children nowadays, prophecy uh, really doesn't exist. Uh, next prohibition: we're forbidden to listen to the prophecy of one who prophesies in the name of an idol. So, if you hear someone who is uh, reciting some prophetic vision in the name of an idolatrous uh, god, a false god, we are not allowed to hearken to listen unto the words of that prophet, according to Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. Verse number four. Uh, last one we'll touch on today is uh, we're forbidden to have pity, have rachmanas on a false prophet. We're forbidden to have pity on a false prophet or to refrain from uh, uh, carrying out a death sentence upon him uh, because he prophesies in God's name. We're not to entertain any fear of sin in this matter uh, because his falsity has been proven to us. Uh, we should not have any fear uh, of, uh, of uh, this person or uh, of carrying out the death sentence against them. Nowadays, of course, we do not execute a death sentence uh, as we don't have a Sanhedrin sitting in council uh, in, the, uh, in the chamber of hewn stone in the temple. But uh, when that resumes, so the penalty for false prophecy also will resume to the best of our understanding. Uh, we will continue with uh, some of these uh, uh, prohibitions of uh, idolatrous uh, customs and practices tomorrow. So join us then. Also, tomorrow is the golf tournament, so pray for good weather. And uh, if you're able to join us or to sponsor us uh, in our uh, annual fundraiser of the year, uh, please, annual f- f- fundraiser for the year, our main uh, source of income uh, as a fundraiser, please do so at your earliest convenience. Have a good day.